Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. I hope you noticed I did uh, change the song in my intro. Uh, you know, I, change isn't always good, but at the same time, I didn't credit the uh, author of that song, even though it's free and I'm able to use it on YouTube. I didn't, did, never did find out who the artist was. So now I've credited the author in the music and put it on the screen. So I feel better about that. Yeah. Jackson and I have been working really hard today. We. We made a new outro video, which you're going to see at the end of this uh, video. Put a lot of effort into that, guys. Like, you have no idea how hard and how much hard work I put into all that. So, anyway, I like it better. The reasoning for it is because um, I think that a lot of the haters and trolls have no problem finding the thumbs down button. It just comes instinct. They press play and then go to the thumbs down and don't, watch the, don't even watch the video. So, I just wanted to remind people that do enjoy my videos that you can always give me a thumbs up and that kind of changes the ratio thumbs up to thumbs down and kind of helps out a little bit so you know remember to if you like the video go ahead and tell me you like it and that's awesome thanks guys today is a really good day i'm officially back on the road got a new tire i'm far enough away from slab city that i'm actually happy about what's going to happen and where we're going to go and what we're going to do and stuff but um I was gonna share a couple tips today. Can I show them something? Um, couple RV tips. I pretty much have a normal sleeping schedule. I'm usually in bed by about 10 o'clock and up at 6 a.m. no matter what. But there's been times in my life, especially working different jobs and stuff like that, where the sun and noises really affect my RV experience. And I wanted to share a couple of things that uh, I use to combat that. First of all, earplugs. I've been wearing earplugs for maybe eight years now. They really help. It's incredibly, um, it's incredibly important for me to have earplugs in the RV, and I guess I just haven't really mentioned this. I talked about it in comments, but never shared with you guys. I do sleep with earplugs all the time. I've trained my ears to be able to know what to kind of tune out frequency-wise and what to understand, because... I will warn you, when you first put these in and you're not used to them, you will sleep through your alarm clock. You will sleep through dogs barking. You will sleep through everything. And sometimes you don't want that. That's why they make uh, different different rated earplugs. So you might want to try a few and see what works for you. And also set backup alarm clocks or test it on a day where you don't have to wake up the next morning at a specific time. I do keep mine in a protective case because Jax has an earplug fetish. We used to play fetch all the time with used earplugs. I know that sounds gross, but it's just, it's what he loved. So I throw it, he puts it in his mouth, comes back and drops it all the time. But he cost me over $1,200 in a recent emergency vet bill a couple years ago. Got one stuck in his stomach and had blockage. And so we don't play with them anymore. And I keep them locked up safe. And I don't even put them in the garbage when I'm done using them. I take them directly out to a dumpster so that they're not even in the RV anymore. Yeah, definitely give these a shot if you're one that doesn't like to hear car doors closing or dogs barking or generators running and stuff like that. But, you know, it's not going to work for everybody. And the other thing I find incredibly helpful, and I use this every single night, not even really sure why, but I use a face mask. And these are also sold at most stores, uh, same spot where the earplugs are sold, uh, basically in the sleeping aid area. And, uh, you know, these, it just kind of... Well, think of it this way. A lot of people that have vans or motorhomes black out all their windows and curtains. Well, I don't really want to do that all the time because I do like to let some light through. And uh, and it's really expensive to do that where this is like 88 cents to get this. And it completely blacks out everything so you can't see anything. Some people might say it takes away a little bit of your security because... Well, same with the earplugs. These two devices are good at blocking out audio and and visual things that might uh, you might want to see instead when you're living this lifestyle. So I would say uh, get comfortable with it on your own time and make sure that it's going to work for you because it might not end up being something that you want to do in that circumstance. So Also, I did get my uh, medication, finally, from the Brawley Rite Aid. Um, no, we're not playing with earplugs, Jax. I need you to go down. Come here. Settle down. Get down. We're not playing. See, he already knows they're there. 
I know it's been a long time and you probably forgot all about earplugs and stuff, but we're not playing with them. Um, I got my medication from Rite Aid, which is awesome. I also got my blood pressure checked and it was, it was high. It was 142 over 86, which I was not happy about that. Somebody, somebody told me that they thought I had high blood pressure, and they're right. So I need to see a, a, a doctor pretty soon, maybe get on some something to fix that. Also got weighed, and the last time I was weighed on a scale was in early November. So I've lost 11 pounds in about five weeks. I guess I I kind of do feel it. I don't I don't know where it went to, but all my belts have to be like two notches tighter, and uh, I feel healthier. So I've lost the weight somehow. I don't feel like I've lost it in my face, my cheeks, or anything, but it's it's going somewhere. That that is proof that it that it is. That's cool. For garbage bags. So like, remember when I was in the Northwest and Jacks? Honey, we're not going up on the table. Okay, not yet. Remember when um. I was getting free plastic bags and reusing them as garbage bags. So you like go to Safeway, Albertsons, uh, and then I reuse the bags for garbage because I've got a little four-gallon garbage bag. Well, all the not all of them, lots of places in Oregon and California ban plastic bags. What's the plan here? See you. Anyway, they're they're banning the bags and uh, not even issuing them. But sometimes they have paper bags, and you got to pay like nine cents to buy a paper bag. So the problem is, I was almost like completely uh, out of just stupid plastic garbage bags that I could use in my garbage can over here. Um, so I went down the garbage aisle, and I actually here I'll show you what I bought. Wait here, Dex. I bought a roll of these. These are these are uh, four gallon bags. They're lemon scented, so they've actually got a specific smell to them. They smell good. I paid a dollar ninety eight for I think seventy two bags, and I I have a really weird thing about paying for a garbage bag. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. Basically, because my whole life I've been reusing plastic bags, and now they're banning them everywhere, but they still make them. So you still make them and buy them and use them. It's just they're banning them on the way out of a store. They're not banning them off the shelf, though. So, I don't know. It's weird. I don't mind paying for them because there is no other alternative right now. I have to be able to seal up my garbage and dump small-sized garbage bags into smaller dumpsters on the road. So, it was something I had to invest in and, oh well, deal with it, right? Um, let's see here. I still have not turned on my generator for, I count them, 16 days. I have not even turned it on, which is bad. You're supposed to turn it on every couple weeks. Even if you're not using it, you're supposed to turn it on, put a load under it, and keep it in tip-top shape, right? So I'm due to go do that, start up the generator, let it run, use the microwave or something, um, just to so that it remembers how to how to be worked, you know? Same thing if you, if you were gonna park somewhere for weeks at a time, start your motorhome up regularly, the engine, and put it into neutral not park but there's something different by putting it into neutral and letting it run and letting the engine get up to warm speeds because it's actually lubricating the gears when it's in neutral as opposed to park it's not lubricating the gears i guess so yeah do that too i did do some reorganizing in the rv you know just because i was waiting for the tire but i basically cleared off the front seat here now um, had the guitar and everything. So the guitar is over here in the window and it's bungeed to this so it can't move while I'm driving. The couch, usually this stuff is not here on the couch. Usually this stuff is actually up top out of the way, but I'm using, I've been using camera gear all day and making, making stuff with that. Let's see. Oh, the closet area. Okay. So here's Jax's stocking. Um, my toolbox is now way back there. A bunch of stuff is in this spot that wasn't here before. Clothes and then storage. I could turn this on and show you a little better. Uh, it's, there's just a lot more junk in here now. But the, the reason why there's so much more junk right there is because I cleared off pretty much my aisleway here. See how much more room I have now? The only thing that... I mean, the garbage can, I don't mind it being right there. It's out of the way enough. 
But I've got Jax's food, Jax's litter, and an extra thing of soda there right now. What? Oh, we're not going outside right now. Oh, no, we're not going outside right now. So that seems to have kind of given me a little bit more room in here and made it more maneuverable. What? Meow. Can I have your belly? Can I have it? Can I have your belly? Oh, I get kitty belly. <laughs> Come here. Bonk. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to uh, chillax here. Remind me to start the generator up before I end this video so I can actually remember to do that. Check all the oil, check all the fluids. Um, and then I haven't decided where we are going for Christmas yet. That's what I haven't decided yet. I was going to buy the long-term BLM pass so that we could just be good to go on any of those spots that are in Southern California and Southern Arizona. But I actually have not picked a location for me and Jax's Christmas Day uh, stuff. So we'll see. I'm going to keep a little bit of delay here on the videos and not give out the exact locations. But believe me, we are doing well. We're both healthy. We're both happy to be on the road. And life is good and awesome. And yeah, check out our new outro and we'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, Jax here, along with his human servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, don't forget to watch all of our other videos. We got some great material out there. Subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates here on the road. Can you say hi? Talk to you guys later. <laughs>